West Ham have always had a decent firm, we know that, right? But when Tony got involved and he was on Kess Pennant's shoulders with the fucking angel dust out, I mean, they were unbreakable. He didn't even know I was, he just slagged me off the side of slagging me off. I mean, it sounds silly now, but there was a rumour going around, he was superhuman. Oh, fuck off, you idiot, do you know what I mean? You could never have had a sit down with him and said, you know, babe, you, you're going a bit too far, because we was all going a bit too far, he just had his, you know, his unique coin card. Well, the first time I'd done it, I think it was Stoke away in the cup. Someone called it a Tony 200 and the name just stuck. I mean, yeah, that was a bit naughty, to be fair. I didn't know what that meant. Ah, yeah, so, you know, it was something or nothing. Like, basically, the money, the drugs and the fame and that had all gone to my nut. So I started bashing up people at football, leaving 200 quid in their mouth and shitting all over them. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, running around doing that week in, week out. Well, I was the richest hooligan by a fucking country mile, to be honest with you. Do you know what I mean? Because I had all my DJ money and that. You know, it wasn't the money. It was just disgusting. So he was outcasted from hooligan circle. Too many mouthy cunts out there these days, I'll tell you. I mean, I look out at this city now. Look at it. It's like fucking Disneyland. Do you know what I mean? I don't need the drugs no more. Do you know what I mean? I'm old enough without the fucking things. I'll just bang into my music again now. Mum lend us a score where we all made those wrapped up okay. in that fucking offshore account. Okay, okay. Hi guys, if you like what you just watched, either hit the clips or subscribe down below.